Hey, this is YBR with Beam and G Drive, and today I'm going to show you guys the most important mod I have installed, and I have it installed in virtually every video I make, except for this one. The mod is not installed right now, so I can show you what happens if you don't have it installed. So, just for demonstration purposes, I need to carve this really fast in a straight line, so I'm going to grab the drag version of the Burnside Special. Now when I'm recording a video, quite often I'll have to do multiple takes to get something to go exactly the way I want it to. For example, I might want to do something really simple like drive this car really fast in a straight line, but I keep messing it up and I keep crashing every time. And then after a bunch of attempts, I finally get a run I like, where I go in a straight line and I don't crash at all and we get to the high speeds I want. Everything went perfectly, except here's the problem. If I was to just edit the footage you just saw together, it would look something like this. We would start the video off with the truck, and then we would go to the menu, and we would pick the drag version of the Burnside Special. But once the car is loaded up, all these skid marks will appear out of nowhere, because these are all the takes that were removed from the video, and all that's left are the skid marks that are left on the ground. So what was the solution for this? I had to make a mod for BeamNG Drive that removed skid marks, and it works great! With the mod installed, all the skid marks I just left are gone, and anytime I do anything like that, no skid marks are left behind. And this makes it so much easier to do a new take on a video when the old one doesn't work out according to plan. All I have to worry about is the smoke that the vehicle leaves behind, and that's pretty simple. You just wait a few seconds, and it'll vanish into the air, and we're ready for the next take. If I didn't have the mod installed, I would have to do something like this. If I had a bad take and it leaves a big fat skid mark right on the road and it's very obviously there, what do you do? Well, you gotta drive the car off to somewhere off camera. And you gotta do it gently enough where you don't leave any skid marks doing that. And then once you're far enough away where nobody will notice, you would just do donuts there for a long while. And eventually, if you do enough donuts, the old skid marks will vanish and then only the skid marks where you were doing donuts will remain. How long this takes can depend on the vehicle. With a drag car like this, it leaves really fat skid marks that really quickly overwrite the old ones. It still takes a whole drag engine to do this basically. Once it starts to overheat, you know you're good. So you can see the skid marks that were directly behind me have vanished. So that means the skid marks over by where we started are completely gone and then we would be ready for the next take. That's a huge pain in the butt. It goes from like 5 seconds of waiting for the smoke to clear to an extra minute every time for every time I want to do a take and videos can have a lot of takes and I legitimately would not be surprised if I would have to waste an entire hour on a single video just doing donuts in the corner to get rid of the skin marks that are on the screen. Heck, even editing this video is going to be really awkward because I haven't had to deal with this in a couple of years. It's been so nice not having to worry about all this stuff and now I gotta worry about it again. So that was a pretty nice crash. Before we go back to ranting, let's just admire the damage a little bit. I can't see it, there's a wall in the way. Nice damage to the vehicle. And now, back to ranting. Sometimes you would have the opposite problem where you need skid marks to exist because they disappeared on their own. For example, let's say I was recording a video and I just wanted to crash this thing into the wall real quickly. I did that and then I bring it back and there are skid marks in front of me and I'm gonna go ahead and change vehicles with those skid marks there. So when the Legrand spawns up, the skid marks should still be there. And they are right now, but they can disappear very easily. For example, let's say I was just driving the Legrand around doing nothing fancy with it, but as you drive this thing around, you notice it does leave faint skid marks. So if you drive around with them long enough, it's gonna leave enough skid marks where those original ones by where it spawned disappear. Now if something goes wrong and I need to redo this take, we're gonna respawn the car up back to where we were and those skid marks are now gone. You can see the faintest remnants of them, but it'd be very obvious on the video that something is up because they would look different. For example, if you're watching the edited video, it would look like this. We would have the Burnside Special here. We would bring up the menu and choose the Legrand. And then when the Legrand spawns up, all the skid marks are basically gone. And I'm sure with me saying this, there will be people out there who complain about the fact that I have skid marks turned off now. But you know what? Until I said anything, I never heard anybody complain about it. In fact, back in the olden days, there were maps on Beam and G Drive where if you had the skid marks turned on, it would cause issues. So you would turn the skid marks off specifically for that map. And the way I see it, 99.99% .99 of viewers do not care about the skid marks. And I am not going to spend an extra hour every video to please 0.01% of the viewers. 
because you know what I could do instead of dealing with skid marks? I can make other brand new videos instead of wasting my time with nonsense. So which would you rather have, skid marks or more videos? You don't even need to answer that because I know the answer. It's more videos. Everybody says they want more videos and I never record enough as it is. So here's a look at my Legrand before we go ahead and reset him back. And that's gonna do it for this video. I know it was really short compared to most of my videos, but it's quite simple. This mod saves me a lot of time and it makes making a video so much easier. And there is no mod out there that is anywhere close to as important as this mod is. I have actually lost the files for this mod and before I even recorded a new video, I remade the mod because I need this. Because I can't imagine going back to recording videos without this mod installed. Anyways, that's gonna do it for this video, so we're gonna fly through the air. And until next time, this has been YBR, and remember, if you like or dislike this video, I will know. I can tell by looking at the skid marks. So do the right thing, and I'll see you next time.